Manfred Memorial Moon Mission was the first private commercial probe to fly by the Moon. It was led by Luxpace, a child company of German OHB System, in honor of OHB System's founder, Professor Manfred Fuchs, who died in 2014, and was launched with the Chinese Chang'e 5T1 test spacecraft on 23 October 2014. The lunar flyby took place on 28 October 2014, after which the spacecraft entered the elliptical Earth orbit and continued transmission until of November 2014, exceeding its designed lifetime by four times. Spacecraft The briefcase-sized probe, with a mass of 14 kg was built by the Luxembourg company Luxpace. Its primary power source consisted of 28 non-rechargeable SAFT LSH-20 HTS lithium cells, which provided 4.5 W power for the payload electronics. It was permanently attached to the Long March 3C, G2 upper stage through the mission, and its design was adapted to function near the electromagnetic interference from the rocket's 1 kW S-band transmitter. The secondary power source included four SAFT MPS lithium-ion batteries recharged by a 2x8 grid of solar panels, to recharge its batteries. Unlike the primary power source, however, it was dependent on the spacecraft attitude orientation and rotation rate, determining the availability of sunlight to recharge the batteries. The onboard computer was an FM430. Payload Amateur Radioth radio payload consisted of a quarter-wave monopole antenna supported by an I.Q modulator, and an RF power amplifier providing 1.5 W power. The probe's antenna transmitted up to 2,500, 13-character digital messages at 145.980 MHz using digital mode JT65B, with additional tone transmissions. Luxpace created a contest with prizes for amateur radio operators to receive these transmissions and send results back to the company. The radio was activated 77.8 minutes after the launch, and the first radio signal was received in Brazil at 1918 Coordinated Universal Time. The team expected 10 participants to join the contest, but more than 60 people took part. Scoring was based on the number of messages received. Dosimeter 4M probe featured a small dosimeter that measured ionizing radiation in space. The instrument was provided by the Spanish company IC Malaga. The instrument measured the total ionizing dose every five minutes, and it showed a significant increase in radiation doses while crossing Van Allen radiation belts. 215 hours into the mission, the radiation sensor stopped working for unknown reasons. Mission. The probe was permanently attached to the third stage of Long March 3C, G2 on 23 October 2014 at 1800 UTC along with Chang'e 5T1, making its closest flyby a day after Chang'e 5T1. The lunar flyby took place during the night of 28 October 2014. After that, the probe entered a highly elliptical geocentric orbit with a period of 14 days and it remains in space. The last transmission from the spacecraft was received on the 11th of November 2014, 1:35 Coordinated Universal Time. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Honorifics. The 4M probe was the first private lunar probe flyby. A similar flyby on the 13th of May 1998 by the PA-22 satellite, at the time called HGS-1, a geostationary communications satellite made a lunar flyby in a recovery attempt after a partially failed launch that left it on an unusable highly elliptical orbit. Using gravity assist maneuvers, the satellite was successfully recovered on the 17th of June. Unlike the 4M mission, the HGS-1 was not designed as a lunar mission, and made a flyby only in a recovery attempt, however according to Hughes Global Services, the satellite operator at the time, it claimed the title of the first commercial mission to the Moon. The first commercial payload to the surface of the Moon was by Celestis, that paid for commercial transportation of a human remains memorial onboard the Lunar Prospector, which impacted the Moon's surface on 31 July 1999. See also Exploration of the Moon 
List of missions to the Moon List of extraterrestrial memorials References External links Official website Manfred Memorial Moon Mission on Gunter's Space page